Yo, what's up guys? This is Jonathan from Tech Teachers and today we'll be talking about why you should probably skip the 8GB RAM variant of the Realme 2 Pro. Now I know Realme 2 Pro is a great phone and you cannot find any better phone in that price segment but again you should skip the 8GB RAM variant and why do I say so? Find more in the later part of the video. So without much ado, let's roll the intro. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it right now by hitting the subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now I know some of you might not even watch the video till the end and straight away go dislike the video and comment that I'm a piece of shit. But for those people out there, I would wholeheartedly recommend you to watch the video till the end cause who knows you might even agree with me. Now with that out of the equation, I would like to say that the Realme 2 Pro is a great phone and you should definitely check it out if you are looking to buy a phone under 15 grand. Now I would like to stress on that under 15 grand part cause if you are looking to buy any other variant of the Realme 2 Pro, let it be the 6GB RAM or the 8GB RAM variant, then you should probably skip it. It's because the 6 gigs of RAM is still fine but the 8 gig RAM variant is overkill and I would like to say that we are still not in the age where you need an 8 gigs of RAM in a smartphone or I would like to correct it by saying you still don't need an 8 gigs of RAM in a Snapdragon 660 powered device. Now don't get me wrong, having 8GB RAM in a smartphone is great for future proofing but do you still think a 1.5 year old Snapdragon 660 with just having 8 gigs of RAM will be enough for future proofing? I disagree cause if you look at the price of the Snapdragon 660 powered Realme 2 Pro with 8GB RAM, the pricing is 17,990 which is nothing but 18,000. So if you look at the competition, the Poco Phone F1 which comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 845 is priced for 21,000 INR. So if you are spending 18,000 on a Snapdragon 660 for just that 8GB RAM and 128GB storage, why don't you spend 3 grand higher on a Poco Phone F1 and get 6 gigs of RAM but with a Snapdragon 845 which is much 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 powerful than the Snapdragon 660 and will be great for future proofing. Cause that is where we are right, if you are spending that much on a Snapdragon 660 powered Realme 2 Pro for just that 8GB RAM, spend 3 grand higher on a Poco F1, you are still getting better battery life, better camera, yes it has better camera cause no matter how much Realme taunts that the Realme 2 Pro has better cameras, it's still not gonna be as good as the Poco F1 and you are still getting that powerful Snapdragon. Dragon 845 and if you are thinking that the Poco F1 just has 6 gigs of RAM then well my friend Snapdragon 845 with 6 gigs of RAM will perform much better than Snapdragon 660 with 8 gigs of RAM or even 10 gigs of RAM. But if you say that you don't want to spend that 3000 more on the Poco F1 then you shouldn't be spending 4000 higher over the base variant to just get that 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage unless you want the bragging rights of having 128 GB storage and 8 gigs of RAM. Cause I feel even the base variant of the Realme 2 Pro with that 4 GB RAM and 64 GB storage will still be enough for your day to day operations and it can even handle some intensive gaming. Now you might say that the 8GB RAM variant has that 128GB flash US first 2.1 storage which is much better than the EMMC 5.1 available on the 4GB RAM variant. Then again the question rises if you are spending 18,000 for that UFS 2.1 then why not spend 3 grand higher on the Snapdragon 845 powered Poco F1 which again has the UFS 2.1. See where the things are going but again I am no one to tell you which specific device you should buy cause at the end of the day it is your hard earned money and you can throw your money anywhere you want but this video was just to explain you my point of view on the top end variant of the Realme 2 Pro and the Poco F1 cause let's be honest even the base variant which is the 4GB RAM and 64GB variant of the Realme 2 Pro will perform just as good as the 8GB RAM variant. I agree it will be a bit slow but it will you will not be able to notice the difference unless you look for. And even that minor speed difference is due to the fact that the Realme 2 Pro's 4GB RAM variant comes with that AMMC 5.1 storage when compared to the UFS 2.1 which is faster is available on the 8GB RAM variant of the Realme 2 Pro. But again if I were you I would definitely go with the base variant of the Realme 2 Pro cause for that price it's a killer deal and is an unbeatable phone under 15 grand right now and anything more I would be inclined towards the Poco Phone F1. But again this was just a video demonstrating my point of view to you. So if you understand it's well and good, if not it's your wish, your money, you can do anything with your money. 
so that pretty much winds up the video hopefully enjoyed the content if you did and feel like the one is probably to have an also supporting artist like you're feeling make sure to crack the like button but if you thought this video sucked you better know what to do but if you loved it and want to see more such awesome videos dropping regularly then it's no better time than hit the subscribe button and yeah do this to make sure you get notified whenever we upload a new video and then this been your jonathan from tech teachers reminding you to check out my previous video for which the links will be found somewhere on the screen or in the description section below and then thanks for watching